Alright, so I'm here with Ntesalelo and Corsi. Um, back into the ring again. Massive fight, fighting for the SA title against uh, Prince. How are you feeling? Uh, but I'm feeling good. Uh, I've been waiting. I, I think my time is now. I have to make sure I bring that title back to Johannesburg, even if I'm from KZN, but my, my team is here. I have to bring that title. I'm ready. I've been training. Even if they were trying to play with my mind, uh, I think Lomo he was trying to duck me because he knew he's supposed to fight me. But with his uh, in case that and I don't know what they were doing. They say uh, one day when I wake up in the morning, I saw the poster. They say he's fighting uh, Sanele. I think his name is Msimang, yes. something like that. I was confused because everyone he knew he had to fight me. I don't know what was happening. Maybe he was he was trying to duck me. It's time, but let's fight. But I'm ready. I've been waiting for this opportunity for so long. So I think it's time. Uh, everyone must see who's the the the, the real in junior world so it's you also, I mean, you have put in great performances in your career so far. You obviously saw Marcus Loboko for a team in the last fights, and obviously you came up slightly short. For you, you're a young, fresh fighter, someone that wants to make big things of your career. Um, how do you see Prince as an opponent for you? Uh, Prince uh, uh, is, 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 a, is, a good, is a good opponent. But for me, the way I'm ready, I don't think he, he will make it. Uh, I, I'm... I, I, I got a strategy how I'm going to deal with him. Yeah. And uh, you're a come forward fighter, there's no secret about that. All, all, all seven of your professional fights so far, you've, you've, you've come out there and you've looked to put the pressure on. Um, come this fight, is it just more of the same from you? I uh, will see. They say, uh, they say, what, what they say? They say, if, uh, styles make the fight. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Obvious, I prepared, and uh, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do on that day, but he will see. I'm ready. I'm ready for everything. I'm ready for everything. Uh, I'm hope he's ready, because he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. So let's see. 24 November, I'll be in Devon. Let's see. Right. And I can't wait for, for the fight as well. It's obviously been a long time coming for you. You've been preparing for, for this big moment. Once you get your opportunity, you get your hand raised, um, you'll feel like you've accomplished something now in your career and you can move forward? Yeah, after this, uh, le let me say this, uh, my plans. Uh, after this fight, I'm, I'm going to win this fight. After it, uh, I'll try to defend maybe four or five times then. After that, I'm going overseas. They need me there. <laughs> I think they need me. Uh, I was watching Nunchinga, he's a good boxer. Uh, yeah, every, uh, anything can happen, but yeah. I think I'll make it there. I think I'll make it. With my team, I got Damien, he's got experience. Uh, he's there in overseas, he's preparing for someone to fight again. So. I will get there. I think it will be easier for me. It's, it's, I, I gotta be honest, it's nice when I see South Africans fighting abroad and fighting for big titles. It brings a lot of joy to the country. A lot of, uh, it's, uh, it, it brings a lot of support for each other. And I think uh, that's what uh, Nonchinga's opportunity was. It was uh, an opportunity for South Africa to get behind him. Obviously, there will always be more opportunities in the future. We've got a lot of good young fighters in the country, yourself included. and. Uh, I think you've taken a leaf out of Jackson Chalke's book. You said you want to defend the SA title a few times. Obviously, he did that. Is that where it comes from, or is it your own interest to, to defend the title many times? It's my, it's my own, it's my own uh, interest. Because uh, after, after SA title, I don't know where I'll, I'll, I'll go. So after that, I'll, I would love to go overseas and get experience that side. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, as, as we're saying, as a young career, it's just been difficult in South Africa to get fights, you know, on a regular basis. Uh, it's just one of those things you maybe fight twice, three times a year if you're lucky. Um, how are you finding your career so far as a young South African boxer? 
Hey, uh, it's been a difficult uh, journey. I uh, I started. Uh, oh, sorry, attend boxing 2018. I only had one fight. Uh, 2019, one fight. 2020, the whole, the the COVID hit. Then no one was. Uh, 2020, at least I had like two. Uh, 2020, no, 2021 I had two, 2022 two also, this year I had one. This is my big fight, mm. but it's been a, a long, uh, like a difficult journey. But I always pray, uh, I always believe one day I will make it. Uh, so, like, you, you don't have to give up, give up. If you love something, you must always put put effort, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like that. Uh, but it's been a, a difficult journey. I've I, I got to ask where, with, with regards to that, because you mentioned like it's been tough, you know, it's been a difficult journey. If, if anything goes wrong in the fight, it's like you get put on the back foot and you've got to wait and it delays your dreams. That can't happen for you. I mean, you have to win the fight as far as I'm listening to what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I can I, I, I can lose this one. If I lose this one, maybe it's gonna take me another two years to be where I am now. So uh, let's. I, I don't know what to say, but I, I'm not gonna lose this fight. I'm not gonna lose. Uh, I, I hope everyone is ready to see and that's a little baby jingles in KZN. I'm coming, guys. I hope you're ready for a great boxing, for a great boxer, for a future. I'm coming there, guys. I want to talk about that as well, because obviously back to KZN again, and to fight in KZN in front of your own fans, your family, everyone that will come watch. Um, what's that feeling like? It's, it's a good feeling. Eh? I, I, I've been trying to get a fight in KZN, but uh, it's been hard. Eh? I've been trying since I started my career, professional uh, career, I, I, the last day of December, you know what happened? The, that, uh, yeah, that promotion, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'll, I'm happy that I will be fighting at home, even if it's not like my, yeah, my, yeah but it's I'm happy, problem. yeah, some of, my, my teammate from amateur background, they will come and watch me. I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll be happy. I'll be happy for that. All right, my next question is, can you get a stoppage win? You know, are you looking for that? Um, hey, then, this is a professional. Okay? Uh, you know, I'm ready to, to fight. I'm ready to win the fight. But I don't know. And then I won't predict because he's an experienced boxer. But we'll see. But what is inside to me, I'm gonna win the fight. Okay, so most importantly, you're there for the results to get the belt. So first things first, you're concentrating on Prince. You might learn a lot in this fight as well, just based on you, what you just said there, his experience, uh, getting the ring, absorbing all that knowledge. Do you anticipate it being a difficult fight? Mm, not that much. Yeah, he's, he's an he's a experienced boxer, but I don't, I, I don't see him as my nightmares. Yeah, it's just, to me, he's just a normal boxer, but I respect him. But my time is now. Prince, I hope you're gonna listen to this. My time is now, bro. I, I'm hope you're ready. I'm coming, I'm coming for you. I'm coming, I'm ready. You've obviously put in a good training camp. The fight's going ahead. You're gonna get the fight, and um, ultimately you say you're gonna get the win. Yeah. That's that lunch, Baba. I'm gonna win. I don't know how, but I'm gonna win the fight. It's either points or knockouts. I don't know, but I'm gonna win the fight. All right, Baby G's got a surprise for us on fight night, so we'll obviously wait and see um, when you get in the ring. Um, the dates for the tournament again? Uh, 24 November uh, in Devon. I think it's a Sun coast something like that yeah yeah yes, yes yeah you're right yeah so uh, lomo i hope you're ready uh, i know you got a uh, lot of supporters there in guazul natali but 
I'm, I'm saying that even now, those supporters, after the fights, they're going to be mine, all of them. <laughs> all right, uh, Baby G, just lastly, um, any thank yous, any shout outs for anybody? I just, I just want to say uh, thank you to my sponsor special. So this one, Ju Jewel Industries, they're always there for me. Uh, then uh, to, to the other sponsors, Thank you so much. Uh, I also got uh, the, the, the new sponsor that is coming to join my gym. Uh, I just want to say shout out to, to them. Uh, I, I thank them to choose me. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much, Baby G. All the best for the fight. Thank you so much, Hayden. I hope you'll be watching. Bah. I'm ready. I can't wait for next week, 24 November. Thank you so much, Hayden.